What's up everyone, it's down here, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing another unboxing for Zavi. I think I butchered that name once again, but they do some really amazing mystery boxes and I absolutely love their Marvel mystery boxes. Last time I ordered from them I did I think a $35 box with four items. This today is a $55 box and it has five items in it. And the last box really impressed me, so I'm really excited for this. This one finally came in the mail, by the way. This one here was supposed to arrive the same time as the last one, which was a couple weeks ago, maybe almost a month, month and a half ago. So I was almost ready and about to get a refund, and then this one finally showed up. So I'm really excited to see what is inside and the fact that I finally received it. And I'm just gonna show you the size here. That is a big box, so I'm expecting to see a few figures just like the last video and see what else is inside. Let's just open it up here and check it out and see what we have. Just like always, I can't really do a surprise for myself just because of how they usually are packed. So I'm just going to dive in and share everything that I find with you guys. So up first is a graphic novel, which I used to really hate on in any box, uh, mystery boxes or different things like that where I receive them in. Now I kind of like them, certain ones, and just like comics, I gravitate towards the ones and like to keep the ones that have a really nice artwork and really nice theme on it. So this one here is the all new, all different Avengers, the Magnificent Seven, which looks really, really cool. Let's see if I can get it with no glare. That is really cool. We have Nova over here. We have Miles Morales, Spider-Man. Uh, Iron Man, I believe. We have Falcon um, as Captain America, which is cool. We have Mrs. Thor, we have Vision, and Miss Marvel. That is really, really cool. Definitely uh, gonna have to check this one out. Usually this one here, like I said, the box is $55, so this graphic novel, for example, is $26. So you always get value uh, out of this company, at least I find. Next, um, I'm gonna check out the next small thing here. And that is a Green Goblin bottle opener, which is really cool. Um, let's actually open this one up and see how it actually looks here. I don't know if this is one that's going to be able to take out of the packaging and to display. Yeah, it doesn't look like I'll be able to, but here it is here. It has a lot of detail on it. Um, I actually love that it is all silver and it's not colored in any way. It just adds to the, uh, I don't know, design to it. And I love how the bottle opener part is the glider for Green Goblin. So that is really, really cool. Of course, um, I don't think I'm gonna be able to take this out of this to be able to display it. So this is likely gonna stay in this little display here. If I display it, I'll just prop it up like so. But that is a really, really cool item. Not sure what this is worth, or even if it says here on the box. Uh, of course it doesn't, so. It does have some weight to it. It is a heavier uh, bottle opener, so it is really, really cool item. And something I will be keeping and displaying, so that's really cool. The next items in here are all figures, which I absolutely love figures. So I'm gonna start off with one that I can already tell is a double from the last video. And that is this figure here, Drax. In the last video I received Drax and Groot, which I absolutely love Guardians of the Galaxy. So if anybody can tell me what company this is, it might say it in the fine print here, I never actually checked. But if you know what company these figures are, please let me know in the comments down below because I do want to go and collect all of the Guardians of the Galaxy and see what other figures they do have because they are really great quality. I do have the other two on display. This one of course is a double, so I'm either gonna sell it or use it as a giveaway on the channel do something with it I'll have to decide but these are really high quality really nice figures and they do have some weight to them too so I absolutely love them I do have two in my collection there is another one in this box by the way which I'm really excited to share that one with you guys because I just had a glimpse of what it is and I honestly can't wait but these ones here please if you do know let me know in the comments down below so I can look them up see what the figures are worth and see if I can get a few more to not only finish off the Guardians of the Galaxy sets if there is a set I'm assuming there is if they have Groot and Drax uh, but also to see what other figures they do have. So next, before we go on to the other figure of the same company, we're going to go on to a Funko Pop here. This one here is a special edition, which I didn't realize. The only other special edition I have is the metallic version 
of the Venomized thing. I got in the Ven Venomized box uh, that GameStop was doing, uh, I think a year ago now, something like that. So that was really cool. So this is the only other special edition that I do have. And it is a Marvel 80 Years Invincible Iron Man. Look at that. I love the aged patina look. That does look cool. And this is the only other Iron Man, uh, the only other Marvel Iron Man Funko that I have in my collection, which is awesome. The only one I do have is from the Avengers video game, so it's more from my video game collection rather than my Marvel collection, but I do like collecting the 80 years Funko Pops. So this is a nice one to add to my collection. It has a lot of detail, I actually love that. So, like always, my Funkos always stay in the box. I just prefer it that way, and I like storing them that way. But I know a lot of people nowadays do take them out to just save the boxes, but not for me. This is going to be all stayed in here. And I am going to have to find a spot on my Funko shelf now because I just reorganized it. So I definitely am going to put this one on display. I just have to see which ones I want to rotate now, which I'll have to do that uh, on my own time. But uh, I do love that Funko. Next up is the last figure, the one that I did mention was the same company as the uh, one that did Drax, which again, please let me know what they are. But this one here, I'm really excited because I don't have any figures of this person, uh, of this character, other than Funko Pops and I think a limited edition Funko as well. And that is Thanos. You guys know I absolutely love Thanos. Right now, my 2021 Dodge Ram is named Venom, but I'm thinking about getting it painted or wrapped in a dark or deep purple. And if I do, I'm going to be changing the name to Thanos. As you can see, I'm wearing a Thanos t-shirt as well. I just realized that, but look at the detail of this figure. All of these figures from this company are amazing, but look at the detail. You have the Infinity Gauntlet. You can see all of the stones here. You see the detail in his suit. It's the comic suit, which I don't have a Funko of that, which is awesome. I only have the ones uh, from the MCU. So that is really cool. And the first one um, of him wearing this costume that I have in my collection. So that's really cool. I'm definitely gonna have to find a spot and put this one on display. Uh, this one here, I don't know if this is exclusive to Guardians of the Galaxy um, because on the side it still shows rockets, it still shows a bunch of the other Guardians, so I'm not sure if this is exclusive, but I believe the Drax and Groot are 2015. Um, this one here says 2016 on the back, so I'm going to have to do some research, but this is awesome. Definitely going to be putting this one on display, and I'm definitely going to be ordering from them again in the future. Yes, I did get a double in this video, or in this box, however, they did mention that ahead of time that if you order more than one box, you might receive doubles, and they do have a ton of other mystery boxes as well, and they do have a ton of other mystery boxes as well, not just Marvel ones, but they do have DC and even other ones from other TV shows or just general mystery boxes with different figures and stuff. So I am going to see what else they do have, but I do love their Marvel products and their Marvel mystery boxes. I might have to order another one in the future. Comment down below if you guys think I should and if you guys enjoy these videos, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Also comment down below what you guys think of this box. I absolutely loved it. I think the value is there. The graphic novel is $26. I'm not sure what the uh, bottle opener is. I don't know what the special edition Funko is, and these figures here, I'm not even sure what name they are, but... I, if I had to guess, I'd say they're $20 each, just from the detail and um, the quality of them alone. So I think I did definitely get my value out of this box since I only paid $55. But comment down below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please take care. Peace.